Right, so hello everybody, a special edition of FIFA playing games in real life, the series. Hello George. Alright. I am, and we're Good. here to discuss the tumultuous events with the England manager. Fabio Capello has just resigned in, is he in disgrace? I don't know, so kind of in disgrace. Mm, I don't, not, not really, he didn't really do anything wrong, did he? No, but it's kind of being reported that he did. Like, so for people who don't know, England captain, uh, or former England captain now, John Terry, uh, was accused of racially abusing an opponent, uh, Anton Ferdinand, brother of Rio Ferdinand, in a, uh, what was it, an FA Cup game? Uh, no. Uh, no, a league game. game. Yeah, it was yeah. a Premier League game. And uh, basically there's like a police investigation and it, there's going to be a trial and... Uh, Basically, the FA, who run football, thought that the trial would be out of the way by the time they had to pick a team for the next competition, the European Championships in the summer. And, yeah, they. Uh, <laughs> it turns out that the court case is going to drag on into the summer. Yeah, so they had to... It, he wasn't going to be proven either innocent or guilt, guilty by that stage, so they had to wade in and take the captaincy off him because... Well, he's an alleged racist, right? Alleged, yeah. Well, pro probably is, but obviously hasn't been proven guilty yet. So, yeah. and that's that's sort of. And Capello wasn't even asked about it. They just did, right? You're yeah. Not right. the captain anymore, and Capello wasn't happy. And then he went on Italian TV, gave a statement about why he wasn't happy and how Cap uh, Terry would remain the captain in his eyes, even if they officially. <laughs> Which was probably a bit of a stupid thing to say, but like uh, on principle, you kind of see where he's coming from, like innocent until proven guilty and all that. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit harsh on Terry, but he's a bit of a dick anyway, isn't he? So <laughs> yeah. You can't um, complain. What? It, even if he's innocent, you can't complain. Yeah, uh, well, see, for, other, was... for previous indiscretions and going yeah. on, and he, going he's on. not a hugely nice man. I think no. that that's fair to say. Uh, I wouldn't. He doesn't seem like a, a racist. But obviously, you can't say so. No, it, it's weird, it isn't it? Like, all of these people, like Luis Suarez or John Terry or whoever, they all have black teammates. Well, actually, Luis Suarez only has Glenn Johnson. <laughs> but, like, they all have at least one black teammate. And in Terry's case, uh, a fair few black well, teammates. Yeah, he's so, even hugging uh, Ramirez in the May United match on the yeah, bench. Yeah, of course he is. Like, uh, you can't. I can't see how he could go through his life like actually being a racist, but then don't say racist things and people won't get confused, will they? <laughs> like... <laughs> so who's going to replace Capello then? Well, everyone thinks it's or... going to be Harry Redknapp. But yeah, I think it will. I don't want it to be. No, I don't like Redknapp. But, I, uh... I, I'm the opposite. I, I don't want it to be him because I like him and like England's group of players are decent average at best but they're not oh. they're not superb uh, <laughs> despite that delicate chip there who was that Rooney oh uh, well but they have one superb player um, and uh, the rest of them are not spectacular at international level so he's going to have a difficult job and the expectations from the media and stuff are always really high on England even though they've proved to be relatively crap um, so I think he's going to have a difficult time actually achieving anything and I don't really want to see the press like turn on him. It, it depends how ambitious he is really doesn't it? I mean if he thinks he could become a Tottenham hero, win them the league, get back in the Champions League and he'll be forever remembered at Tottenham or does he think he's good enough to win England the World Cup and be remembered forever by everyone in England and the yeah. world. Well, if he thinks that he's good enough to win the World Cup, we're saying that this is the opinion of a man who admitted himself he can't read or read. <laughs> so, I, I, I think it's fair to... I think if he thinks he can win England the World Cup, then I think it's fair to call his uh, judgment into question, to be honest. Um, I so. But, yeah, I, if I was him, I'd stay at Spurs every day of the week. They've got a great team. There. Everyone likes him. You know, and they play really nice football. They could win the league. Tottenham are better than they've been in, what, ever, probably. Old life, yeah. yeah. So, but he, know, can't, like, and he can't do wheeling and dealing in the uh, 
in the international fixtures, can he? No, he can't. Game. He can't, although a court proved that um, he didn't make any money off that sale of Peter Crouch. It was proven in court. Yeah. So. But he's, and he's not a wheeler dealer, he's a fucking football manager. Yeah. As he famously proclaimed. Yeah, that's his quote. Yeah, not mine. <laughs> no. So, uh, this is uh, a dull nil-nil. This is the next game England are going to play, and what Stuart Pearce is going to be in charge for that. Uh, what do you think of that? Um, I don't think Stuart Pearce is a very good manager. No. Tactically, in the under-21s, is a bit awful. Um, but he can shout a bit, and that always looks good on the side. Yeah. But I, can't, I, I can't imagine. He's likeable as well. You know, he's he seems like... I don't know. He seems like a normal bloke. He is quite normal, I think. But... Well, his nickname is Psycho. So... No, but he's <laughs> that's on the pitch, isn't it? Yeah. As a person, he's he's on the cover of a punk rock album. I can't think which one, but that uh, apparently that's he listed that as his like number one achievement for his <laughs> career. And I, yeah, that made me like him more. Uh, he's 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 likable, but yeah, as you say, not a great manager. I think it's the right choice though, rather than just appointing someone because the other guy had to resign. You know, um, makes sense to get the guy you want. I'd have. Uh, Kroos Hiddink, personally. Like, uh, yeah. It was up to me. He wasn't very good at Turkey, though, was he? No, but... Or, oh, and Russia. You got no, him. no, no, well, the second time, the first, like, his first tournament, he was... A, yeah, a but not set. qualifying. And he came in uh, at Chelsea when they sacked Scolari two or three years ago, and... Everyone loved him then. Really all good. Chelsea fans, yeah. Yeah. Won, all won the FA Cup. Is, well, except... Obviously, John Terry's one of them, and he probably won't be able to pick John Terry. But, yeah, I, I don't know. He He's my preferred candidate. If yeah. I, I, would, I wanted Capello to stay on. I quite liked him. I didn't I don't know. like him. I felt like he was going to get the job done. Like, he, that's what he's done. Like, at Real Madrid, he didn't care what everyone thought. Just bought a load of old, unattractive old players. players like Emerson and Mamadou Diara. Won the league and then left. Yeah, but, but uh, you can't do that. If you, yeah, I suppose. You, you know, you've only got the players you've got. And, like, there's some choices that he's made. Like, Micah Richards has been, like, actually not just this last season, though he has been good this season, but towards the end of last season, he was, good, and he was never being given a chance by Capello, which is a, a strange it's, choice it's, because Glenn Johnston is not. It's because, Glenn, um, well, one. apparently because Richards That's doesn't do what he says, yeah. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> plenty of I'm sure plenty of England players can be accused of that. Like he still picks Steve Gerrard, and ev- <laughs> everyone says that he just does what he wants. Which you know, he's a good player, fair enough. But I don't know whether it'd be interesting to see Red Nat picks as well differently to uh, Capello. Well, who's not in who you'd pick apart from maybe Micah Rich? Um. Well. I- I had to try and ignore my Man United bias. Oh, oh Ashley. Um, maybe Carrick, because I like Carrick. Um, but who, who for? Whose place in the team would Carrick get? Barry, because I don't like Barry. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm lukewarm on Barry as well, but so, I, I'm not sure Carrick's better particularly. I don't know. I'd... So for the Euros, like a, a Carrick, Parker, Gerrard midfield experienced, keep the ball. It's a shame Wilshere's not fit. Yeah. I think if Wilshere was fit, I'd play uh, Milner, who's played in centre mid for Man City a fair amount this season, and Parker and Wilshere. That was a nice little nutmeg by the ref there. I haven't <laughs> seen that. I haven't played a lot of FIFA. I haven't seen that animation before. No. Darren Bent. With, it, he, Harry right. Redknapp oh, picked Darren Bent. No, he's, he's not as good as his wife at football. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think he'll make Parker captain? Because he's got him at <clears throat> I think Spurs. Parker's a decent shout for captain, yeah. but there's lots of central midfielders that make sort of natural captains in England's mm. team, but they can't all play. So you've got your, your Gerrard, your Lampard, your Parker, your Barry, and obviously you're only going to play two or max three of those, and I wouldn't play... I wouldn't even play two of them, I don't think. It was up to me. I'd, I'd play Parker and that'd be it. So, yeah, I'd say that way a fairly logical choice. 
He looks like a Spitfire pilot as well, Parker, from the 1940s. He does, he does. Very and everyone much. thinks, because he sort of seems a bit hard and um, what, tough, he can take, yeah, so everyone just kicks him all the time. They don't care. Like Balotelli stamped on his face. Suarez <laughs> kicked him in the chest. But yeah, he, said, oh, he can take it. But he, he obviously can, can't he? Because he's not, he's not injured much. Is yeah, it doesn't mean they're allowed to, though. <laughs> no, but... You, yeah, okay. Last minute lump it forward, England style. Oh, yeah, no. another inspiring nil-nil. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed our views on the England manager. Uh, if you want to put your name forward or indeed suggest anyone else, uh, comments boxes below. Uh, like buttons down there as well somewhere if you want to fish around for that. And uh, yeah, we're done. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Oh, that was pretty good.